is John Tamaki. I'm a staff photographer at the Boston Globe. Um, I've covered uh, probably 25 marathons for the Globe. Uh, last five years I've covered the finish line and this was probably the most, uh, you know, gruesome event I've ever covered in my career at the Globe. Can you tell us just a little bit about what you saw? Um, um, initially what was happening was I was photographing some of the runners crossing the finish line. I was right at the finish line and these were runners that were probably two hours after the elite runners were crossing and um, just focusing on one runner coming across with his arms up and then there was that loud explosion. Um, people came running at me. Um, I had my wide angle lens on and I kept shooting and I instinctively ran towards the, um, the spot of the explosion and while I was shooting within that first explosion there was another explosion in the background which I captured um, which was probably 15 seconds after the first explosion and it was just chaos it was um, it was bodies everywhere police had a difficult time getting to the victims and the EMTs couldn't reach them because they had that a barricade fence to keep fans off the race course um, it was a difficult scene for, for them to get at but um, I managed to um, have access by being there so early to the scene and it was just um, it's just indescribable to, to see people with their their legs blown off and feet blown off and dying in front of you and you know two women side by side where an EMT was was checking their pulse um, I saw a man with you know partial leg amputation um, with a, a, a man and a woman trying to stop the blood flow with a tourniquet um, glass everywhere um, uh, you know one of the most moving images I, I think I took was of a, um, a man leaning over to a woman she was on the ground and she was severely injured and he was just whispering in her ear telling her you know it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and you know in the background all you heard was people yelling for ambulances and screams like oh my god this is Boston this you know what's going on why did this happen here it was just um, the craziest thing so there's a feeling of like surreality the joy of the day juxtaposed with the yeah the I mean think about you know an hour earlier you had the the winner in the of the women's race and the in the men's race crossing the finish line and now after the blast you have people who are injured who are dying being rolled across the finish line in, in stretches I mean I've never could could imagine that that would happen um, and you know the joy of the race the mar it's the Boston Marathon it's Patriots Day everybody's having a good time people are cheering the announcers saying let's ha have a big cheer for you know the the kids who are holding their parents hands as they cross the finish line and then silence after the explosion you know just like wow what was that it just explosion shook everything in sight and we were just wondering what it was and it, you know it was just too surreal a scene I mean Hollywood I mean it was just crazy just just to see that destruction um, I hope I don't think the Boston Marathon will ever be the same I think that's gonna be the reality of the race and um, that's all I you know I hope to never see that ever again in my career